from Moldova. I found this good apartment, it's pretty cheap. I'm just going to go down and I'm going to go up, I'm just going to check out the building. Let's have a look. It's not bad for Moldova, even this is the poorest country in Europe. So this is my level apparently, but I don't know. This is 28. So we're just gonna go C30, 31. So I need to go a little bit higher. Next level, which is the last level I think. Not bad, you gotta love these decorations. People in Eastern Europe always do this. It's very nice. Yeah, this is an interesting apartment. Oh, there you go. Found it. I was joking, I was here before, because I left all my clothes inside. But it was a pain in the ass finding it, because he told me it was uh, level 9, but then you have to go up to level 10 to actually find the apartment, he didn't tell me that. So I'm just going to show you. Not bad, I mean it's cheap, it's like 20 or 25 dollars a day, obviously. It's not bad for Moldova, but I think 3 months ago it was cheaper, but because of the the war situation in Ukraine, everything's become expensive because people, people have just come here from all over Ukraine, which is good. I'm glad Moldova has accepted a lot of refugees from um, from Ukraine. It's not bad. It's a brand new apartment, I think, maybe a couple of years old. Not a bad bathroom, toilet. Not a fan of these showers. But what do you do? I just don't like them. So this is the main bedroom. What's here? Oh, this is just a... Uh, wow, it's pretty amazing this place to, obviously. Put all your clothes, but I don't have any clothes. Shovel light day. I've got zero clothes. This is actually not a bad apartment. Got some screws in the bag. I don't know why they left them here. Well, it's not bad, I can't complain. It's pretty good. We'll go back on the balcony TV. Apparently, there's fast internet here, but we'll check it out. Um, yeah, let's go on the balcony. The fridge. There's nothing there, it's empty. Yeah, it's clean and it's clean and very nice. Nothing is dirty. I like it. And it's cheap. Like for me, it's pretty cheap. Yeah. I love the balcony. It's pretty good. Let's see if any of these are going to Oh, there we go. There you go, Moldova. I've got to be. I've got to tell you, um, this country is poor. It's pro. It's 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 been said it's the poorest country in Europe, if not the poorest, the second poorest. But um, 
you got to come visit. It's apparently one of the least visited countries. I think the second least visited country uh, on the planet uh, in the world. So I highly recommend if you come here. There's no, there's no danger. I know a lot of embassies have said you can't go there because of the, you know, the breakaway region in Transnistria. And I've been there. There's nothing there. It's not um, it's not risky. It's not dangerous. Obviously, if if they told you, you can't go to Ukraine, you'd listen to that. There's a massive. The Russian fascists have invaded the country, so you can't go there. But here, look at that building. I wonder what's over there. But in Moldova, there's no problems here. Come here and enjoy it. I think the problem is at the moment the airport is closed, so you can't you can't come here uh, unless you go to Romania and then you catch a bus or a train. I think they've got buses and trains both, or a taxi. You can even from. From Yasi, there's a city Yasi near Moldova, you can catch a taxi, they've got an airport. So you can catch a taxi from Yasi or a bus, or, or yeah, like, a, uh, I don't know if trains run from there, you can come here and enjoy it. It's, not a, it's a pretty good place, I like it. Alright, thanks for watching. Hopefully I'll post something interesting in the next few weeks, see you guys.